As you can see, I have a two and a half inch hose, 50 foot section, going to a two and a half inch discharge crossway of truck 50. I have a single five inch supply on the front end take, going to a single four inch steamer on a hydrant supplying the master stream on the aerial device. Currently, at pump idle and hydrant pressure, we're at 320 gallons a minute. The goal will be to increase flow to not more than 200 PSI on the discharge of that specific hand line what the max flow rate would be for that two and a half. As you can see we're right at 200 PSI engine discharge pressure and our gallons per minute is roughly 675. Master intake is still about 50. Next we'll be using a two and three quarter inch tip off of the master stream of the aerial. We're off to the rear. However, our ladder fully retracted and as negative as it'll go, attempting to remove all friction loss and pressure loss due to elevation. At an idle for roughly 500 gallons a minute, as you can see, the stream is not very productive, but again, we're just looking for flow uh, out of this two and a half, 503 gallons a minute, roughly 70 PSI. Currently, we are at a master discharge pressure of 250. My needle on my two and a half inch discharge is bouncing at around 170. Our flow rate is 870 gallons a minute. So, the next section of the video will be dedicated to further proving that the 5 inch to single side Siamese input will not restrict our flow for sprinkler systems. As you can see we've got a 5 inch LDH supplying what our simulated FDC is. This would be the FDC side of our LDH discharge to our crazy adapter set simulating the FDC input on one side. The Flowmaster says roughly 775 gallons a minute. Now we're at roughly 50 PSI intake. So at 200 PSI engine discharge pressure on the LDH discharge, our flow is right at 1340, 1350, all the way up to 1400 or so, 1450, 15. As you can see we've got some minor fluctuation. Minimum flow is in the neighborhood of uh, 1300 though. We're sitting right around 1550 now.